Hello, and thank you for your time today. My name is Doug Youngblood, and I'm an engineer that works with CDM Smith. Over the past year, throughout 2016, I worked with MnDOT to develop a handbook that provides guidance when conducting culvert inspections using enhanced inspection technologies. During this presentation, I'm going to discuss enhanced inspection technologies in depth. But just to make sure we're starting off on the same page, an enhanced inspection is any inspection that uses a tool that can obtain information on a culvert's condition. And that information would otherwise be difficult to see with eyes alone. Today, I'd like to cover four topics. First, I'd like to give you a brief business case for enhanced inspections. Second, I'd like to present an overview of technologies commonly used to inspect culverts. Next, I'd like to discuss considerations when you conduct an enhanced inspection. And finally, I'm going to present some additional resources that will help you as you conduct enhanced inspections in the future. So why do we inspect culverts? A robust inspection program certainly requires an organization's commitment and resources. Well, the dramatic answer of why do we inspect culverts is to avoid issues like we're seeing on this slide here. So this slide shows two examples of roads that have been damaged because of the pipe below. So, you know, in short, what we want to do is inspect because often the cost of proactively addressing these issues is significantly less than the cost of an emergency repair. So when we inspect, we inspect to avoid risk. So inspection programs make sense, but when is an enhanced inspection necessary? Often MnDOT conducts end of pipe inspections of culverts. So this inspection method is fairly low tech. This involves traveling out to a culvert, looking inside using a high powered light, and then documenting what you can see about the culvert's condition from the end of a culvert. Now, if this method can get you all the information that you need for this particular inspection, then consider it a best practice because it's the most cost effective way to inspect this pipe. Uh, however, sometimes end of pipe inspections do have their own limitations. So to illustrate these limitations, what I'd like to do is show you a video of an end of pipe inspection. And uh, we can talk about some of the limitations and, and ways that an enhanced inspection might be able to remedy these limitations. So uh, this culvert here that we're going to look at, it's a 24-inch plastic culvert, and it's located in Vadness Heights. Uh, I visited the site. It was a sunny May. I had a high-powered flashlight in my camera, and I peeked in with the flashlight and took a quick video to try to see what I can see. Uh, so let's figure out what we can determine from an end-of-pipe inspection and what the limitations are. So I go out to the pipe, and uh, I look at the exterior condition. Then I can look inside. So I can see all the way through the pipe. I can see daylight on the other end. So this is telling me that this pipe is not actively failing. It also doesn't appear like there's major debris on the invert. So this pipe really isn't a candidate for some sort of you know, major cleaning or flushing effort. Now, what I can, I can see here on, on the pipe walls are, are the condition up to about that first joint. I get a really good image of what the condition of that plastic pipe is up to the first joint. But beyond that, it's really only a guess because the flashlight's beam, even though it's a very high powered beam, disperses past that joint. So I can get a good view for the first 30, 40 feet of the pipe, but there are some limitations. There's poor lighting in this pipe uh, because the flashlight really only travels so far. Um, I can view up to about the first joint and any measurements that I'm gonna take because I'm located on the outside of the pipe, uh, any measurements that I'm going to take are really only estimates. To fully document the condition of a culvert, one needs to use some sort of enhanced inspection technology. So uh, six common inspection technologies include closed circuit television inspection, hive or hydraulic inspection vehicle explorer inspection. Uh, this is an innovative tool developed by MnDOT. Multiple sensor scanning. Uh, this is an umbrella term that includes uh, laser profiling, sonar scanning, and inclinometer, so incline measurements. Mandrel testing. Hammer sound testing of large concrete culverts to understand uh, structural integrity. And uh, core sampling. So taking a core sample of a concrete pipe 
to uh, do some lab tests to understand its condition.